Hey guys, welcome to the Glow in the Dark class. I am super excited about this class because I've been trying, trying, trying. I've done methods, I've done recipes. Again, I research everything and I try everything for you guys to bring you not only the easiest, the most affordable, and the best classes, but I try to make it simple for you to do at home and efficient and try not to break the bank because you know as bakers we don't make a lot of money, treat makers whomever's out there now this class again it <laughs> it caught me by surprise because i was in the kitchen for a good two weeks trying to figure out what in the world um i was how i was gonna make stuff glow in the dark now i went back to my science teacher and you know i did uh <laughs> i did some research and i sat there in my old high school class and i said how in the hell am I going to make this stuff glow and make it edible? So my science teacher and my chemic teacher, they were both in the, the same building. Thank God. I mean, what was that was just pure luck. She said, look, there's some solubles, there's vitamins, there's this, there's that. There's So I went and I did some more research and I made sure that whatever I used was going to be 100% food safe. FDA approved and that no one could come back and say you can't use that in food. Um, I have additional information about the stuff that we're going to use in the bottom description box. If it's a little darker in here, it is because I want it to be dark so I can show you the glow in the dark effect. Um, so with all that research, it's taken me a while. Yes, it's taken me a while. But I finally, finally got it down and it was Something simple, but again, it really does take research in figuring out what components um, it works with. Now, it doesn't work with chocolate, so if you mix it with chocolate, <laughs> it does not glow. So unfortunately, you can't make the chocolate glow, but there's other alternatives. Um, it didn't work well with fondant, so if you mix it with fondant, it didn't make the fondant glow either. But again, other alternatives. Now, um, I'm going to leave the recipes below. We're only going to do uh, this this guy right here, the lollipop, uh, candy apple, and the most important, the buttercream. Now, everything else I'm going to leave in the description box below because you have to do it a certain way or else the, the soluble will not interact with the ingredients that we're using together. So just make sure you follow the ingredients step by step and also make sure you're using a UV black light and I'm gonna say that again UV black light um, black light UV flashlight is what I bought this was like six bucks seven bucks it was an investment for me because not only do I use it for my class but I could use it for my boys to go outside and uh, look for scorpions since we're in the desert but it's really cool it's a really cool flashlight I highly suggest it invest in this do not go get a black light from the dollar store those do not work those are not uv glow in the dark lights they are not so here's the buttercream yes this is the buttercream we don't have to dip it in any tonic water or any mess we're not going to make mess today this is going to be super simple super easy like i said i make everything super simple and easy for you okay a super long intro but i needed to get all that information out and again if you have any more questions on what we're using, everything is in the description box. Please read, learn, and educate yourselves, okay? So, look at that. How awesome is that, right? Now, now the light is a little shiny, but you get the point. Look at all that. Glow, not glow. Glow, not glow. So, as you saw, as soon as I put the soluble in the components, I was super excited. I said, heck yeah, I cannot wait to share this with everybody. Um, this link will only last for one week, unfortunately, because I know that this is going to be so popular. Everybody's going to want their hands on it. And I want the people that paid for it to actually get their money's worth. So these are B2s. Now, this is vitamin B2. Now, they are sometimes hard to get hold of if you're looking for them in your grocery store. Um, I lied. I, can, I found them at my vitamin store. So if there's a vitamin store near you, you can find them. But I provided links down below where you can find them and buy them online. 
or you can buy them directly through me and I will sell six for three dollars if you want and you just pay postage and handling all that good stuff but yes they glow in the dark as well now I highly 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 recommend you go and look if you want to go look for B2 I'm going to put everything in the description box you guys okay so my vitamin store I went in there asked the lady I said what in the heck because I was researching and I said is it the real flavin or is it the components that is put in with the vitamin and she said it's the real flavin not only is it good for migraines not only is it good for energy but it's good for a lot of stuff you can't overdose it's a cellulite so you cannot absorb it all so the body doesn't absorb it all you just pee it right out yes your pee will be glow in the dark not kidding <laughs> so all right before we get started just know everything is food safe everything that we're going to be using you have to use a specific measurement of uh, of this of the b2 and uh the ingredients that i'm going to show you how to put it together it's taking me a while you can experiment at home and do it with other things too i've done it with uh cookie the cookies um not so much glow in the dark, but again, the royal icing, um, it did give it a hint of, a, of glow in the dark, so there's an idea. But again, I'm going to leave all the recipes in the description box, so just follow. All right, so let me go ahead and start this workspace so I can show you how we introduce this into our recipes. All right, guys, so we have my pot right here. I have an apple that I've already washed. If you haven't done the candy apple class, I highly suggest it. Um, I have a cup of water right here. And then I have some corn syrup. So remember, the recipe is below, okay? Now, what works best with the vitamin B2 is green food coloring. Now, Yes, you can try other food colorings. Just remember, the darker you go, the more it will be translucent through the coating of the B2 or the glow-in-the-dark effect. Just remember that. Yes, you can use any color. Just remember, because you guys are going to message me, and you're probably going to say, it didn't glow in the dark. Don't use a super black color, because it will not glow in the dark. Just, just remember, and maybe some of you will. Using more than what you're supposed to is not going to make it glow in the dark anymore. It's really not. So just take my advice on this. So what I have here are some super strong vitamin B2, 100 milligrams. Okay. Now, I haven't seen these um, on the market. No one's been able to get 100 milligrams, but 15 milligrams is what the norm is. Um, I scored these. I'm super excited. That's why it says you can buy these from me. All I'm doing is going to use half a capsule. Half a capsule is all I'm using. Now, what you want to do before anything is you want to dissolve half of this capsule. You could break it with your finger. You could cut it. I'm going to cut it like so. Remember, the capsule is just dried gelatin. Okay. Now, I'm going to pour that half of it into the water. That's about half, a little more. Okay, okay, and I'll leave the other half for whatever experimenting I'm gonna do, probably for the buttercream. Now, you're gonna leave it in the water. Let it soak up the water. M mix it up, make sure um, it gets in the water, like so. I'm mixing it with a lollipop stick. <laughs> no biggie. Mix it up in there. Mix it real good. And let it sit, okay? Let it sit for about a couple minutes. You just want there to be no lumps in there. You want, you want the water to be full of the vitamin B2. Now, that brings me to another question that everyone's going to ask. Could we make our water glow in the dark? Absolutely. And it's really fun. The kids love it. They enjoy it. Because not only do we put, um, the possibilities are endless, you guys. But just make sure you measure it correctly. 15 milligrams, um, half a capsule. So I'm using 50 milligrams, which is going to 
not really intensify it at all. It's just what I have. It's going to make glow in the dark either way if you have 15 milligrams or the 50 milligrams that I have. Um, you could use three capsules of 15 and that would be the max or two capsules. You don't need to go more than that. It's not going to make it more glow in the dark. I promise you. I've tested it. I've tried it. So your water can be glowing in the dark. You could put it in green, lime green jello, but you got to let it soak in the water first, okay? You have to, you have to, have to, have to do it this way. Soak it in the water. So say you have um, a royal icing that needs a little bit of water, milk, or whatever water substance, let the vitamin soak in the water. Whatever ingredient you're using, if it's milk, if it's water, any any liquid, make sure it soaks, okay? Give it a couple minutes to soak. It's You just have to do it this way. If you put it directly in there, you're going to get specks. It's going to look ugly. You're not going to like it. I am turning on my, my, my uh, stove top right now. I'm going to put about half a cup of the corn syrup in here because we're going to be making that candy apples. Now, the cool thing about this, I can't wait to show you the effect when it's boiling. Um, remember, your best friend is leaf green or electric green or light green. That's your best friend. You don't need a lot, okay? You don't, you don't need a lot. Look at the recipe below. So I'm just going to get, you don't need a lot. See that? I just got a little dollop. About half a teaspoon. You don't need a lot. So I'm going to add that to the corn syrup and the sugar. Like so. So we've been leaving this here for a couple minutes. Putting the cup of water in here. Now it may not be, yes it turns the water yellow. As you see, it turns the water yellow. Now. You may not be used to this candy apple recipe. You have to do it this way because you need more solvent for the candy apple and anything else you're making. Now go ahead and mix it up for a little bit. You don't have to mix it up too much. I'm going to bring you guys a little closer. There we go. Just mix it up. I'm using my big burner with a little pot. Make sure your candy thermometer is on there. You know the drill. 300 should uh, take about 15 to 20 minutes or so. You'll see the color change as it boils. Now I'm just stirring it all up. You don't have to use a lollipop stick, you can use a wooden dowel, whatever you prefer to use. Add flavoring. Um, now the biggest question I'm probably gonna get is, does it change the taste? Not necessarily, but some people are sensitive to vitamins, so. I would just add a tablespoon of flavoring versus a teaspoon. It's completely up to you. I don't taste it. I'm super sensitive to taste right now that I'm pregnant. I don't taste it, but it's completely up to you. If you wanted to, if you want to flavor your stuff, just remember green is your best friend. Light green food coloring, your best friend. All right, now where's my, here we go. Look at that, it's already glowing. How freaking neat is that? I mean, get the kids involved. Let them shine the light as, as you're doing this. They're going to see that. So let, let's let let that come to a boil. And uh, it's about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you at its boiling stage. All right? Hey, guys. So the mixture is boiling. We still have about 10, 12 minutes to go. But look at that, it glows. It looks so awesome glowing. I mean, come on, look at that. So we're gonna wait for it to finish and then we're gonna dip the apple and I'm gonna show you the final effect on that. And then we're gonna use this extra sugar. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use the candy apple recipe, but again, I will have a candy recipe underneath for you to do some poured sugar on a uh, silicone mat and I'll show you what to do with that just so you can get the effect on marshmallows, rice crisp treats, so on and so forth. So let's take about another 10 minutes to get to uh, 300 degrees and we'll be back. 
All right, we are at 300. Woohoo! Finally. But look at that. How awesome is that? Pretty cool, right? So, let me go ahead and move this back. I'm going to take the candy thermometer out. Put it to the side. And I just want you to take a look at it. It just looks so cool. You know, the mixture itself. Now, I'm just going to tap it. I have my silicone mat here. It's heat safe. I'm just tapping it. Remember, just follow the recipe that's in the description box. Don't be afraid. If you've done the bubble free method of how to uh, do your candy apples, you already have done my class, you already know what to do. All you're going to do is dip your apple up and down. Why I tap it? So that we can get less bubbles from the mixture. I mean, if you didn't clean your apples very well, you're going to get bubbles. And all I'm doing is scraping the bottom so we don't get that puddle at the bottom of the apple. Now, this mixture will be a little thinner because we need it that way for our glow in the dark. Now, let me remove everything away from here. All I'm going to do is just put a little bit of candy mixture there. Now, I'm going to use that and I'm going to show you what we're going to use that for. I'm going to put a little bit of white gel coloring in here. Not that much. You want to see um, if you can get opaque. So I know I'm going to get that question. So work quickly. We added the white in there. It's going to bubble up. So don't be scared. Got to work fast. Now you're going to get that opaque look by adding white. Now what you want to do, if you want to add the white in the beginning of the process, that's fine too. You could do it that way too. I've got to put my other stick in my apple. And then that way you'll get an opaque look. You could even marbleize it. You can do whatever you want. It's your, your candy apple, your apple, whatever you want to do. But if you're looking for that opaque look, this is how to get it. Now, all I'm doing is little strings. If you want to do a candy, you could throw this in a mold, make lollipops. If you've taken my lollipop class, just like that, make a lollipop. You do it by hand like that so the only thing we did different not the only thing there's a couple different things that we did we did different with this um, we don't add oil into this because what I found out is the oil mixture did not set well with uh, the uh, vitamin so just however you want to do it again you don't have to use a candy apple mixture because it does take a while to get, so if you don't want to do the candy apple mixture way, that's fine. Remember, if you get silicone mold, you can make this glow-in-the-dark candy. Um, those long rods they have, you know, those, those molds or cubes. You can even do water cubes. And uh, again, I'm going to have all the ideas of what you can do and make sure that the mixture is being mixed with the water or any water soluble mixture first okay I'm just gonna put my pan back on the burner so it burns off the extra candy that's in there so yes it's still glow in the dark it's just an opaque look or you can get the clear look completely up to you I'm gonna open the door so you can see how bright that is ta-da there's light but you can see the opaque look. I mean, you could add the white, the white gel to the beginning of the mixture is completely up to you. Or the clear look, up to you. 
okay? You can charge more for the opaque and uh, less for the clear look. Completely up to you, you guys. Whatever you want to do. Just remember, this is your best friend, this color right here. All right? So we're going to let this sit, and I'm going to put it... I'm going to show you the whole treats under black light, and I'm going to show you how to make the backdrops for your pictures when you're taking your pictures for your... Um, yes, there's just so much in this class, so soak it all up. All right, so we're going to do the marshmallow next, and I'm going to show you how to do that. One sec, we'll be back. Okay, so we have our marshmallow here. So before we dip it in chocolate, make sure you get a marshmallow that's straight or just cut it. <laughs> Mine's a little lopsided. Hey, true life. That's what happens. Um, so get your marshmallow. Um, heat up some chocolate. I'm heating some chocolate up right now. But what I did is take a piece of that candy. Now, this candy is a different kind of candy. It's not the same as the uh, candy apple mixture that we just made because this one is easier for me to work with and crack. Again, I'll have the recipe down below. It's super easy. And then all you're going to do is double bag it, cut it, make it as thin as possible so it's easier for you to break. This is how we're going to make the mixture for you to pour it on anything. So we're cracking it like it's glass. I got this little uh, meat tenderizer hammer at Goodwill. It was actually half off, so it was a dollar. What a steal, right? Or if you don't have that, use any roller or metal roller. Um, the only thing I would discourage you using this is because it is plastic. It's still uh, acrylic or plastic. It still get um, dinged up by the sharp corners of the candy. So what you want to do is smash it all up. Now, if you have a grinder or food processor, you could put this in the food processor. Make sure your sugar is dry. It's not wet whatsoever. Excuse the loud noise. Now, the possibilities are endless, I'm telling you. So we're going to dip our marshmallow in some chocolate. And we're going to use this because the chocolate does not adhere to the B2. So you have to be creative. I'm always creative. If the, if the noise is too loud, go ahead and uh, pause it or turn it down. Sorry, you guys. This is real baking, cooking in the kitchen. So, all right, get a bowl. Make sure it's finely, 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 finely chopped, like super fine. Get a bowl. Throw it in there. Like. I would pulverize it some more, but for class sakes, I just want to show you guys. See? And then you have your little sprinkle. And then you get your marshmallow. If you've taken my sweet treats class, you already know how to do this. But you see how I added some green and some of the specks of uh, the vitamin B2? Again, I was testing it out. Didn't work. It's okay. Now, I'm going to be super sloppy. I'm not trying to be correct. Again, judge me. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just showing you for sakes. For class sake. All right. So we got that on there. You can sprinkle it on there. Or you could do the dirty method like me. <laughs> and put it on there. Now, we're just going to let this sit for a couple minutes. I'm going to shut the door, show you the other one that's already dry. And look at that. Freaking awesome. I'm telling you, the possibilities are endless. You could do that with um, Rice Krispie Treats, with Oreos. Remember, as long as you pulverize the already made candy, you'll be fine. Make sure it's pulverized. Like, this one I didn't pulverize it too much, but there's big specks in there. That's okay. But you see the pulverize. <laughs> it looks so cool. I really, really enjoy it. All right. So on to the buttercream. So that's what you want to do. If you want Rice Krispie Treats, Oreos, anything, just sprinkle on that mixture we just made. Save it, put it, store it in a plastic container, airtight container, because you don't 
want it to get wet. You don't want the humid to get, you don't want it sticky, okay? So make sure it stays wet. Now, with the candies that we just did, let's go over here. All right, let me open the door. Sunlight is the best, you guys. Sunlight, sunlight, sunlight. Now, you could use these as uh, candy bars, put them in the, uh, what is those glass candy things, if you want. I mean, you still have time to twist them. Remember, hot, so use gloves. Do whatever you want with them. I mean, make them into little reefs, make glow in the dark, you know, under the sea. I don't know, use your imagination. But here's the lollipop, super easy. If you don't have a mold, just do what I did. Dollop of, um, my OCD is kicking in, a dollop of this. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So if you know my bubble free method of the candy apples, or if you want the class, I'll put the information below. But how awesome are these? Now let's move on to the buttercream. And then I'll show you how to make your backdrop and everything for a glow-in-the-dark themed party. All right, so I have some shortening and some butter in Big Bertha. Don't judge Big Bertha. She is a little dirty right now. And I just put the rest of the capsule in the, the water. Now, depending on your recipe, if you have a favorite recipe, go ahead, use your favorite recipe, but put the vitamin in the water or and or um, um, milk. If it doesn't use milk or water, you're gonna have to add it or incorporate it into your recipe or use the recipe I have that is provided below. Now, we're gonna mix this up. Mix those two together very well. Now, you can add a hint of green in here. If you don't, you're just gonna get a yellow, um, <laughs> I get very yellow, let's show you, a very yellow bit of cream. So mix those together. Now this is half the capsule. The recipe will be below. Mix that, make sure to incorporate that very well. Then you're gonna add your powdered sugar. Yes, the messy part. Now you could use this for the cakes, cupcakes, the inside of the macarons while I did it. I wouldn't suggest doing um, buttercream this way. I am just for class sake showing everyone how to make the glow in the dark. I've been doing this for 10 years, trust me. <laughs> All right, now where's the color? I just inhaled a bunch of powdered sugar. That tasted yummy. Now, again, for the royal icing, you would add it to any water mixture or milk mixture, any mixture that is has water substance. Okay, you don't need to add a lot. Don't add a lot. Oh, great. Don't you just love real cooking? I never sugarcoat it for you guys. I always show you the real stuff. Anyway, so you add your color in there, okay? That was hilarious, by the way. And we're gonna add a little more powdered sugar. All right, mix that. Big Bertha has been with me through some tough times, man. She's seen it all. I'm sure everyone's mixer is a is a gem to them. Alright, now you see it coming together. Beautifully incorporating itself. Love it. 
Now again, add more as you need. Um, I, I, I usually use a little more water than I need. And then I just save the rest of the water soluble for whatever recipe I have coming up. Let's see. I want to make sure you incorporate it all. But you get the gist of it all. I'm just going to whisk it a little more. It's done. If you don't like this buttercream recipe, I'm sorry. This is the only FDA approved recipe in the state of Arizona. So we, we use state approved stuff around here. We're actually not even supposed to put butter in there unless you have your um, food crumb in the common, you know, all that good stuff. But you get the picture. Get that buttercream. Should be a light color. Remember, you can add a, a light pink, a light blue, but the best color is green all right just remember that now this is a thicker buttercream which is okay now I'm gonna add that to the cupcake ta-da there's our buttercream make sure you soak that vitamin in the water please 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 all right so now we're gonna step over to where I'm gonna show you how to put a back super easy inexpensive backdrop together okay all right you guys so right here I have a two blackboards they are the flimsy kind so all I'm using is tape I taped it right there right there right there I have a counter space on the other side of my kitchen dining room and I put everything on there. I highly suggest you put parchment paper down if you don't want to get it um, dirty. Now, once we zoom in, it's all black. You can push it all together, obviously. Now, I'm gonna show you my secret. I do have a black light up here that I bought for 10 bucks. And um, Michael's does have it. Make sure it says UV fluorescent black light here's the big old shebang all right this one i think where do we get this walmart we got this at walmart for 10 but you could use your michael's coupon and go to michael's and buy them at michael's completely up to you so now i'm gonna make the house extra dark so we can see the black light in action all right Closing all the doors, all the lights, and I'm going to turn on the black light up here. Ta -da! Now, kitchen here, but look at the difference. Light on, light off. Oh, it's hanging <laughs> again. I filmed these live just for you guys, but you get the gist of it. Now, if you have your flashlight, you can do that too. You can turn off your fluorescent light, but I think the fluorescent light is pretty cool. So this is super easy, inexpensive. Cost me two one dollar for both backdrops. I put rice in a cup. Let me see. There you go. Rice in a cup, so it'll hold the lollipops. And then here's my apples. I mean. How awesome, cool, this is a really cool way to not only advertise that you could do glow in the dark treats, but you could do glow in the dark treats, glow in the dark treats, that's a tongue twister, for very inexpensive, 100% FDA approved, and 100% edible, and no one, no one, no one can question your integrity when you're doing the glow in the dark treats. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class. Again, I'm gonna bring you another awesome class. I'm working on my ganache class. And those of you who bought four or more classes, I'm working on a super special class that you're gonna get for free. Yes, I just said it, for free. And um, I can tell who bought four or more through PayPal. So don't worry. Um, so I'm working on that one and that's gonna come December 1st. So super excited. But I hope you guys love this. Questions, again, 
leave it in the comments below or send me an email to candyqueenbbaker at gmail.com. Again, I love teaching you guys. I love experimenting. And until next time.